Hi everyone, welcome to the talks with the networks. Today we're gonna have the pleasure and honor to have Jordana, the managing director of Tweak Network. Come and join me for a coffee with her and learn more about Jordana and Tweak. Hi, I'm Xavi. I'm a freight forwarder based in China. Join me as I share with you my friends in the forwarding industry, stories and experiences of my 10 years of logistics in Europe and China. Jordana, how are you doing? Welcome. Hello, Xavi. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm doing very well. What about you? And it's a pleasure to be here talking a bit about Twig to you guys. Thank you. Very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Jordana. Everything, everything good. Uh, happy that uh, you join us. As you know, we are conducting the Talk with the Networks uh, to learn more about what's behind. And you know that we are having six questions in six minutes. We're going to take a little bit longer. Don't worry, take your time. And let's go for the, for the first one, Jordana. Sure. Where is... Where is Twig located and who is behind Twig? Well, Twig is located in Brazil. Uh, we are in a city called Belo Horizonte. And behind Twig, there is a big team, a very well qualified team uh, of 12 people. Uh, we are divided into customer success department, commercial department, uh, financial department. We have our own uh, design team and IT team. So all of these people makes Twig as a very special company, uh, not a common one. And we also have some people that are specialized in logistics in the freight forwarding market. So we are able to construct a very different job uh, and we're very proud to do that. Good, good, uh, Jordana. And when, when, did, when did Twig started the journey? And why? Why was Twig born? Well, we've started in 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are eight years of existence now. Uh, and everything is started by our CEO. Uh, his name is Guilherme Luz. Uh, he used to work for a big freight forwarder here in Brazil in the network development of this company. And so he used to participate in many networks around the world. Uh, he used to go to annual meetings and uh, have the experience as a freight forwarder. And he started to notice some gaps on the market of the networking. And he decided to open its own network focused in Latin America, which is a big differential of Twig and also focused in technology and innovation. So uh, we got this big differential exactly because he wanted to cover those gaps that he has seen in the other networks along his journey. Wow, I see a, I see a strong background in terms of, of the freight forwarding. I can understand that you guys uh, know what's, what's behind uh, the scenes uh, of the forwarders. Now, now, Jordana, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Tweak uh, has uh, more around more than 200 uh, partners. You are representing, you know, over 80, 85 uh, countries. Um, why, why are those 200 members more than 200 members? Why are they joining uh, Tweak? Why, why, why are they part of the Tweak family? Exactly. We have over 200 members now and we believe that so many people uh, trust on us. Uh, first of all, because we are the biggest one in Latin America. So this is a huge differential. Once all of the other networks are more focused in Asia, in Europe. So we brought all of those people uh, to our region. They are able to meet a more diverse environment for business exchange and more opportunities also. And also because Twig has brought something that other networks did not do, uh, which was bringing data into technology and innovation. So all of our members are able to enjoy a platform, an exclusive one, 
with exclusive products also and benefits and more than that uh, they feel how we care about their success along the whole journey uh, in Twig so other than being very focused in our region different one uh, we get all of those feelings we get a good experience and we pass all that to them so they trust and they know they will be successful as part of Twig Wow, absolutely one of the fewest uh, networks, I would say, in the market in Latin America. Of course, uh, most, of, uh, most of the networks are based in, in, in Asia and I believe that for Tweak uh, sets up a differentiation, right, uh, being in, in, in Latin America. But just going a bit deeper and, and maybe as doing a recap of what you have said, right? Uh, if I ask you, Jordana, this is a, maybe a tricky one. If I ask you uh, to describe Twig in, in one word, one noun, one adjective, or one sentence, you know, how would you describe Twig? Mm, Chavi, uh, I'd say that we care. The sentence that would better fit into what is Twig is that we care. We care about our members. Uh, we care about their good experience about uh, aboard our group and since the very beginning of our contact with the agents uh, we show them our worry and how we would like to see them succeed uh, over anything else so we are not we're not worried about quantity of members we are worried about quality of members. We are worried about satisfaction of freight forwarders. And we want to see them uh, exchanging business opportunities. We want to see them in contact uh, with other partners. And they feel, they just feel because um, we can touch their hearts, you know? It's not just um, doing some work for anything. No, 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 we care and they know. So. It's, that's the sentence that what describes us. There's nothing better than that. We care. Nice, nice, uh, Jordan. I can, I can feel it, and definitely, um, I, I can confirm uh, about this. And Jordan, moving forward to the fifth question, a bit uh, maybe a bit also tricky. Something that the forwarders worry a lot, or, or might worry, let's say. Um, how is how is Twig dealing with the payment protection and credit terms? As we know, payment protection is um, how safe the forwarders, the partners, the members, how safe are the partners to, to receive the money for those services, while credit terms is how long uh, it will pass until we get the money. So, let's say 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120, 360 days. How is, how is Twig dealing with this? Is there any special uh, rule? Is there any special guideline? How, how are you doing that with this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, it's important to understand that Twig has a different concept of network, okay, uh, in the market. So, as I said, from the very beginning of our contact with our agents, uh, we have a different treatment and one of our main points is that we have developed um, quality methodology control. So uh, as soon as a member, as, sorry, as soon as a freight forwarder say they would like to join Twig, uh, it's not just say, okay, I would like to be part of the group. Uh, we have a whole process. Uh, we check for many informations. We check for infrastructure. We check for background. We check for blacklists in the market. Uh, we also check with our own members if they have any feedbacks with regards to the company that would like to become a Twig member. So all of that process makes it makes Twig has a safe environment. And once they join Twig. We also have all the methods to run their to run uh, their quality control. So we have Twig Partner Rating, which is an exclusive uh, program in which the members can rate uh, the experience working with each other, so we can get the full control 
of the quality of the services that has been providing by them. Quick visit, which is our directors are traveling to the structure, to the companies of our members to check how they are offering their services, their structure, if they have a warehouse to offer, how many employees they have. So all of those points makes us uh, um, have a safe environment for business exchange. So that doesn't um, makes us not need any payment protection plan. Uh, it works very well. It has been working very well and we are on the right track. So we keep like that. With regards to credit terms, it's a common question that we receive. Uh, we believe that we cannot uh, intervene on the member's business, okay? So they should be free to negotiate uh, and we respect that. But what we do is that we have an agency agreement uh, as an advice for them in how they should work with each other in regards to many aspects, including credit terms, okay? So we give this agency agreement and they are free uh, to work as they would like, okay? So we do not obligate them to do that, but it's a nice advice and most of them follow what we say, okay? Okay, thank you, thank you. Very clear, and always, always uh, not easy to deal with uh, those two issues. Uh, fully understand, fully understand yeah. the picture, uh, Jordana. Moving towards the end, um, 2020, 2020 has been a challenging year, of course, for everyone. Uh, it changed many things of our daily lives, and uh, Jordana. What are the plans of, of Tweak, you know, for this 2021 and, and how are you guys adapting to, to this new situation? Yeah, 2020 was definitely a challenging year for everyone, not only for us, I believe. Uh, but we passed through and it was a very successful year. Uh, we've increased our number of forwarders, we've increased our renew rate. So today we have 98% of renew rate after the members first year aboard of our group, which is very, very good. And we are proud uh, to have this rate, this high rate. Um, but for 2021, we gotta adapt, as you said. So we've been working from home since last year and that's fine because once Twig is all about technology, all of our employees, everyone can work from home with no problem at all. We can give a support that the members need uh, working from our computers and that's totally fine. This does not uh, um, make our work less uh, or, bad, or bad, okay? So we can do that with no problem, okay? But now uh, we've been coming up with a new event. We've launched already Twig Connect, which is an online digital event that will happen in April 28th to April 29th. And it will be a 48 uh, hour event nonstop uh, with an exclusive platform and with everything that we use to offer on the face-to-face -face events, we will offer on the digital event. So we will come up with lectures, we will come up with one-on-one -on -one meetings, we will come up with interactive activities and all of that to, be, to bring the same Twig experience that we use to bring uh, on face-to-face -face events. And we're sure that it will be a successful event. Uh, we have no doubts about that. And our members will also experience new products this year. And we're excited. It will be very good. It will be a very good and successful year for sure. Wow. Um... Really, really lot, a lot, a lot to, to come, Jordana. Uh, I can see that you guys uh, uh, took the time to think uh, and, and to make a recap on, on what uh, on what happened and, and, and what is coming. Uh, yeah. Jordana, thank you, thank you very much um, for coming to the talks uh, to see uh, a network uh, tweak uh, very 
very unique in, in, in South America. Uh, uh, a network, as you said, uh, of, of people of that, that, we, that you care, and that we care, as, 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 as you mentioned. You know, and, and good, uh, nice to see that, you know, that more than 200 members, uh, you know, are, are trusting on the Twig uh, philosophy and, and all this innovation and technology and data that, that, that you bring, that you bring uh, together, Jordana. Thank you very much once again for, for coming to the talks and all the best uh, for these uh, coming months. Thank you, Chavi. Thank you so much for the invitation. Once again, it was a great pleasure to be here talking a bit about we to you guys. And well, I'll be here always when you need. Thank you. Sure. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. So